Welcome back. The ability to read and write is a crucial part of a child's development. Many experts regard it as the most important thing they ever learn. But when should you start teaching a child to read? That question is now provoking heated debate because of a reading program designed for babies. LJ, are you hungry? The child prodigy. Is it fair, necessary or even possible to push children and babies to learn? I would learn? Like to eat more, please. I'd like a nap and then later I'll enjoy a nice poop. What's this? What is it? Colours, good girl. When we first met Taz Edmonds at 19 months old, she was well in front of her peers. Can you read that one? Cake. Cake. From four months old, her parents Raul and Sonia were encouraging her to read. Where's your eyes? Close your eyes. When most babies were sleeping and eating, Taz was being video tutored twice a day by childhood specialist Robert Titsa or Dr. Bob. Two years on at just three, before spending even a single day in school, she's already a little bookworm. What's it say? Dolphin. Good. Her parents were so impressed with the program, they started selling the videos to other mums and dads. And this week, at seminars across the country, Dr Bob is meeting his Australian following. His first few years of life will be critically important for how the child's brain develops. Uh, so again, primarily talk about what the baby is looking at. Dr Robert Fitzer believes all kids should read before they are five. Around two months of age is the earliest that the child can start to learn, but the babies don't actually start recognizing the words until around 9 or 10 or 11 months of age. Can you cry? Can you say no? No! Parents do not realize the capabilities that their babies have. This says giraffes. 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 Can you giraffes. say giraffes? Giraffes. Giraffes. This says Hippopotamus. Can you say hippopotamus? That's very close. If parents allow their babies to see the language, then the babies can learn the written form of language just as naturally and just as easily as the spoken form. Touch your ears. Touch your ears, Janie. You touch your ears. Look, I think it's going to be beneficial. Gary Glover started using Dr. Bob's videos when his triplets, Jade, Piper and Tasman, were six months old. The children are clapping their hands. Clap your hands, Jadie. Wave your hands. Good job. The 17-month-old girls have been watching them every day since. The girls started sort of, you know, uh, doing some actions like they touched their nose and their head and their ears and so they started learning their body parts and some of the animal noises they started making, some of the noises. We should not be waiting until children go to school to learn the most important skill they'll ever learn, which is reading. 90% of the brain is developed by age five, and then we start to teach reading in school. Parents who do not stimulate their babies are leaving their children at a disadvantage. Hold your head just like this. I'd be very, very doubtful about the whole process. Dr John Cheatham is a child psychologist specialising in education and he tells parents to lighten up. Well, the damage potentially is that you're wrecking your relationship with your child. He says, let babies be and encourage kids to play. Can you see the picture? Touch your Cuddle your child, play with your child, get down on the floor and go woof woof, go meow. Show them colours, show them toys, have fun, laugh, splash in the bath. That's the sort of connection you should be having with your child. It's not in any way exploiting babies. It's just like talking to the baby. Can, I can't imagine any parents not talking to their baby. Put your arms up. Put away the readers, put away the alphabet, sing them a song and enjoy your day. Bethany Jensen on both sides of that debate. And there's more information on that reading program if you're interested at our 9MSN website.